Hello Thames and Nile, and welcome to Wednesday Phonics. Now before we start, I'm going to give Mr Turner a spelling test. That means I'm going to tell him some tricky words and I'm going to see if he can write them down and I want you to help me mark them with a tick if he gets them right and a cross if he makes a mistake and needs to practice a bit more. So Mr Turner, can you write go for me please? And two. And she. And we. And they. Her. Well, that's got the er uh, diagraph. Made all the mess. And I. Give him a nice easy one. B. And the last one is no. Now he looked like he was concentrating very hard while he did that. Do you think he did all right, Mr. Turner? Okay, I think. Well, he's done it very neatly. So I'll stick it up here and you can help me give him some marks. So the first one, let me get my marking pen. Red. My first one is go. He gets a tick for go. Down and up. Two. Yeah. She. Well done. I thought that one would trick you, but you got it. We. They. They is strange, isn't it? Because it's like the, and you just put a y on the end. They. Her, with our digraph hiding in there. I, B, and no. Mr. Turner, you got them all right. Congratulations. Hooray. Oh, he's very pleased. I'll give him a sticker later. So why don't you do a spelling test like that on a grown-up at home? You read the words to them, get them to write them, and then you can check and see if they got them all right or if they need to keep practising. Now... I've got a nursery rhyme to read. I'm going to stick it on here. You might guess what it is from the pictures. There's a cow, there's a moon, there's a dish and a spoon. Oh, I can already hear some rhyming words. And there's a little dog. And the little dog looks like it's laughing. Do you know what the nursery rhyme is? If you watch what the cow is doing, it looks like it's actually jumping over the moon. Does that give you a clue? Let's read it together. Look at the end of my pen, follow it with your eyes, because I'm going to point to the words as I read them. It's called Hey Diddle Diddle. So that's the title, the big orange writing. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Does that make any sense to you? Doesn't make much sense to me. And also I think the cat's probably gonna be quite cross because there's no picture of a cat on here. Cats don't like to be left out. Now I'm going to look through this again and see if I can spot the word the. Think in your head of what it looks like. Have a look and see if you can see it. And when I get to the word the, I'm going to put a circle around it. So hey, diddle, diddle. <gasps> the. Got one. C cat. And another the. The. Fiddle. Another one. The cow jumped over the moon. I've already got four. Let's see if I get any more in the second verse. <gasps> Straight away. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. There are so many verse there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hiding in one nursery rhyme. Have a go at home and looking at this on the screen or printing it out if you can and see if you can draw circles around all of those in this nursery rhyme. Now we've got a lot of rhyming words there. We've got diddle and fiddle and we've got moon and spoon. But the animals we're going to think about finding some rhyming words for are these two. We're going to think about finding some words that rhyme with cow and finding some words that rhyme with cat. Hello, Toes and Miles. So cow and cat are going to have a turn at finding some rhyming words. Hmm, whose bowl is this? Is it cats? No, it says k ow, cow. This is cow's bowl. There you go, cow. Cow's lying down in its bowl. Then we've got cat's bowl. Cat, it's cat. You can tuck yourself in there. And we've got some words. Some of them rhyme with cat, so they've got the at sound at the end. Some of them rhyme with cow, so they've got the owl sound at the end. Let's see if we can put them in the right bowls. The first word we've got is at, hat. Does hat rhyme with cat or cow? Definitely cat. You can have that one, cat. Next one. Oh, give you a clue what that says. But ow, bow. Does bow rhyme with cat? Does it rhyme with cow? Cow, you can have bow. What about this one? Sat. I think we know which bowl that goes in. See if you can tell me. That's right. Sat rhymes with cat. It goes in there. And what about now? Now. Cat or cow? Now. That's right. It goes in with cow. Ow. Cow. It goes in with cow as well. Cow and how. And oh, pow! Ow. That definitely must rhyme with cat, does it? No, you're right, it rhymes with cow. Cow has got loads of words. Cat's getting a bit sad. Hopefully, we can get some that rhyme with cat. Oh, look, but at. Bat. That rhymes with cat. You can have that one, cat. Bat, cat, and then one more, mat, mat. We all know that cat rhymes with mat because the cat always has to sit on the mat. So the cat can get that one as well. There we go. So why don't you have a go at writing out some of those words and then sorting them into different groups. Some that rhyme with cat, some that rhyme with cow. You might be able to think of some more words that rhyme with cat or that rhyme with cow that I haven't thought of. Good luck, see you next time.